This is John the Witness on the Mind Blowers channel, bringing you hardcore Boba facts. By now, you're quite familiar with what the Bible says about the mark of the beast. Anyone who receives it gets an unrefundable, guaranteed, one-way trip to the lake of fire. Many books and videos by Christians over the years have gone into detail about what the mark means and how it will be implemented, whether by RFID chips or barcode tattoos or turning the human body into a DNA computer. But the real question is, why bother with marking people in the first place? What do Satan and his demons get out of it? Remember, receiving the mark itself is only part of the equation. Before anyone receives it, they must already deny Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Denying Jesus is a forgivable sin, but denying the Holy Spirit goes to the unforgivable sin of blasphemy. So if you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, you will not be forgiven. Satan knows this all too well, so once he brings the world to want and desire the 666 mark of the beast, he will tempt people to want to blaspheme against the Holy Spirit in order to receive the very desirable and coveted mark of the beast. But even more basic than that is, what does Satan get from such blasphemy? He and his demons know that their eternal fate is sealed, so they have tricked humanity, especially the human rulers of this world, into thinking they can live longer through technology. Some rulers of this world are even trying to live forever through such technology. They believe a big lie, as 2 Thessalonians 2 mentions, but Satan knows better. It appears that Satan is trying to buy time by extending human life through transhumanism, quantum computing, and DNA computing. Early results show that if such technology comes to fruition, humans can extend their lives by 1,000 years. So, the more humans that Satan brands with his mark, the more bodies he and his demons can possess so that they too can stay on this earth at least another thousand years. This seems to be Satan's only sliver of hope, but we know that he will be bound a thousand years to give people a chance to know what the world will be like without Satan's wickedness. And then, after that, Satan will be loosed for a little while to tempt the world once again, and then he and his followers shall be cast into the lake of fire. Keep this in mind. I'm John the Witness. Stay strong in the faith of Jesus Christ. Amen.